hi everyone so i come with another tutorial this is question uh, one from tutorial sheet four so we quickly go through the question if you have not yet subscribed to my channel kindly do so so that you do not uh, miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting okay so the first question is saying use long division to divide uh, this i mean to divide this divisor into the dividend okay so these questions are simple long division is just the same you just use the same long division you learned at high school i think long division was learned starting from grade five this is what you also use here so the first question is saying x cubed uh the first question is x let me just be writing here x cubed plus uh six x squared plus 7x and then plus 2 then this is how it's going to be this is the symbol for long division and then our divisor is x minus 1 so we put x minus 1 there so you begin to divide the same way you are dividing at high school you say x into x cubed you are going to have x squared so you begin to multiply now this x squared times x you get x cubed this x squared times negative 1 you get negative x uh, squared and then you divide everything so you do this and you say minus so here is just a matter of uh, subtracting you now subtract uh, this x cubed minus x cubed you get a 0 and then this 6x squared minus negative x, you get positive 7x squared. So this is basically what you are going to have. You bring down this 7x. Yeah, you bring down this 7x. So you are going to have it here. It's positive 7x. Yeah. So once you bring it down, you can now do as this you can now divide this x into 7x squared you get a uh, positive 7x and then you multiply 7x times times that 7 i mean times x you get 7x squared 7x times negative uh, 1 you get negative uh, 7x so again you do the same you subtract subtract 7x squared minus 7x squared you get 0 and then this 7x minus 7 you get positive 14 x so again you bring down that 2 then you begin to divide again x into 14 x into 14x you get 14 you get positive 14 then you multiply so when you when you multiply you're going to have 14 times x you get 14x and then this 14 times negative 1 you get negative 14 like that then you subtract 14 you subtract 14x minus 14x you get 0 2 minus 14 you get uh, z positive 16 so basically this uh this this 16 so this this 16 is called the remainder since we don't have anything this side to bring down so meaning this is the remainder and then this is this one here on top is called the quotient okay all right so this is the remainder it's remainder 16 all right let's move on to another question okay so that was the solution for that question let's quickly move on to the next question i don't mind my drawing okay so we have 2x uh, squared uh, minus zero x minus one 
so i like putting this i don't because yeah it really helps when you're dividing and then this side we have 2x cubed plus 6x squared minus x plus 3 so you now begin to divide this 2x squared into 2x cubed you get x then x times 2x squared you get uh, 2x squared I mean 2x cubed then x times 0x you get it can either be plus or minus yeah sorry this one is supposed to be a plus so it's going to be a 0 positive 0x zero squared and then this negative this x times negative 1 you get negative x then you do it this way you subtract this 2x cubed minus 2x cubed you're getting a 0 then from there we also have this 6x minus 0 will still get a positive 6x squared this is 0 yeah and then negative x plus x we're getting a 0 so this is plus 0 okay 0x you can say 0 or 0x zero is still the same you still get a 0 and you multiply x times 0 and then from there we divide 2x squared into 6x squared you you get 6 oh, sorry you get 3 so you're going to have positive 3 here yeah you're going to have positive 3 so you begin to multiply and then you bring down this 3 by the way then you begin to multiply this uh, 3 times that you get 6 x squared this 3 times 0 you get 0 x then 3 times negative 1 you get negative 3 then you subtract again so when you subtract this you are getting a 0 even this side here you still get a 0 then this side 3 minus negative 3 you get a positive 6 so positive 6 is simply the remainder when you divide this into that so uh, sometimes when I'm solving I make sometimes sometimes but the probability is maybe is maybe one percent out of hundred percent sometimes I may make a mistake when dividing or doing what but what is important for you guys is to know the process so I, I mostly advise people as I'm solving they are also solving on their papers so when you're watching my tutorial videos you should also be solving on a separate uh, on a separate uh, plain paper you are solving to check whether whatever that I'm, I'm trying to solve here is is, um, is is the same as what you're solving on the paper yeah so sometimes I may write maybe 2 times 3 I write 2 times 3 is 5 so if you just copy that 5 then you also make a mistake but if you know that 2 times 3 is 6 and then you discover that I've made a mistake you can just inbox me and tell me to say uh, there was an error there and I always communicate whenever I make an error so that everyone is not lost alright so let's proceed yeah so this is basically the solution after dividing this into that okay let's quickly move on to the last part here so the last part is saying you divide that x to the power 4 plus 3 x squared plus 1 and then you have x squared this side minus 2x plus 3 so now here is just a matter of dividing so as you can see here on the middle here we don't uh, we don't have x to the power 3 so now it's your duty to put it so you are going to say plus 0 x to the power 3 and then plus 3x to the power to, to the power 2 
And then even this side, it's your duty. To, it's your duty to put x zero x. Then you say plus one. So you divide this x squared into x to the power four. You get x squared. Then you begin to multiply x squared times that to get x to the power of 4. And then x squared times that to get negative uh, 2x to the power 3. This times that you are going to get positive 3x squared. And from here, you do as this, you subtract this minus that is zero then this minus that you get two x cubed then three minus a three here is giving us a zero again so from there what you do is you bring down this uh this zero it is still a zero so okay let's just bring it down for the sake of solving yeah okay oh this one is coming from there and then this zero is coming from there so this is zero squared all right so even this one can say zero x to the power four is still the same so we divide this x squared into two x cubed you are going to have a uh, positive uh, 2x then you begin to multiply you get 2 so 2x times 2x cubed you get 2x cubed 2x times negative 2x you get negative 4 x uh, squared 2x times 3 you get positive uh, 6x And when you begin to subtract there, this minus that, you get a zero. And this minus that, you get positive 4. X squared. This minus that, you get negative 6x. Then you bring down that positive 1. So you divide this x, uh, this x squared into 4x squared, you get positive 4. Begin to multiply so this is what you are going to have 4 times negative 2 you get negative 8 x 4 times 3 you get 12 from there you just now subtract again so we're subtracting this side so we're going to subtract this will give us a 0 okay this is a zero there hope you are able to see and then negative six minus eight it's just the same as saying negative six plus eight this one gives us a two so this is a two yeah positive two x So there is a plus there. And then this one, 1 minus 12 is negative 11. So this is basically the solution. When you divide this into that, you get, when you divide this into that, you get this as your quotient and then this as your remainder. So thank you very much for watching today's tutorial. Hope you've been following what I've been solving or how I've been solving these questions. See you in the next tutorial video. Kindly subscribe to the channel if you have not yet.